This is the main Naxport menu. You'll see it every time you open the program. Let's take a walk through some of the main features. You can personalize the main menu by adding an image here, a team logo, for example. To do this, click on this icon and then select image. You can change or restore the default image at any time. The options menu opens here at the top. In the main menu tab, you can set which direct access options, such as register from file, register in real time, presentations, etc. that you want displayed on the main menu. You can choose a maximum of six. If you've already chosen six and want to change the layout, simply uncheck the one that you don't want and check the one that you do. You can also select any of these options from the file tab. The tools tab allows you to import data, synchronize video and various other things. Clicking on Options will open a new window where you can configure the software. You can, for example, change the language or decide the format in which time on the video player will be displayed. One of the useful options you'll find here is this section, where you can assign in which folders to save your analysis, presentations, templates and videos. By default, Naxport creates a folder on your hard drive called Naxport Data. But if you want to assign a new location, such as an external hard drive, you can do it here. You can restore the default folder at any time by clicking on this button. Returning to the main menu, here in the bottom left, you'll find the support and update options, where you can access the Naxport user manual and tutorials. You'll also find information about the version of Naxport you're using and your license number. And that's it. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And to keep up to date with all the latest Naxport news, why not subscribe to the channel? Thanks, and see you next time.